Hey guys, welcome back to Fibers in the Wind and welcome to my channel if you are new. In today's video, it was requested that I show you how to crochet a hat. Now, if you don't know, hats are relatively easy and it's the first thing I learned to crochet when I was new to crocheting. So today with me, I've got this beautiful um, bright yellow. It's a lot paler on camera than it really is, but it's brighter in real life, and I thought this would be easy for you guys to see. And of course, my handy dandy Furls H crochet hook, because you guys know I love this hook. So, without further ado, let's just get into this video, and I will show you how to make something fabulous that you can wear during the winter. You can even use um, like cotton yarns and make summer hats with brims on them. But today we're just gonna be making a basic hat. So let's get into the video. So I've got my yarn and my hook and I've chosen this uh, lighter yellow yarn uh, because it'll show up better on camera. And for anyone who has experience with filming these type of tutorials and has like more experience than me, please comment your tips and tricks because I'm very new to this, so my apologies. So I'm just gonna make a magic ring and I don't do this that often because I'm not that great at it, but we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do the magic ring, hoping I don't screw it up, so. Okay, so, so far, so good, I believe. So, keep sticking. This yarn keeps sticking to me. Okay, so you gotta chain one. Okay, so that's the magic ring thus far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work 12 double crochet into this magic ring. We're gonna crochet over the tail as well, guys. I forgot to mention that. Crocheting over the tail is important. So one, this yarn is splitting as well. Two. So this is what I've got so far. I've done four. And one tip that I just want to give you that I'm not even following myself that I should be doing is your your hole's gonna be a little big when you um, when you first start working with it. And so what you're gonna want to do, and I should have done because I was struggling, is pull the loop just a little bit tighter. That way you're not working with such a huge loop when you're crocheting. So I've done four, and I'm sorry if my camera keeps going in and out of focus. So I've done four, and then you're just going to do 12, and you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that you did, and then chain one. And then I will meet you back when we're done to show you. It's like the further I get away from the camera, the less focused. It is. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. So anyways, I will meet you back when I've done 12 double crochet into the magic ring. Okay, so I'm back with my 12 double crochet into the magic ring. And obviously, this hole is way too big. So that's what the magic ring is for, is you take the tail that you crocheted over and you just pull it. And what it ends up doing is it pulls tight that circle. At least it's supposed to, guys. Mine's having a harder time doing that. Okay, so I've pulled it tight, and now that's what you've got. And then here is your chain, right here, and then your first stitch. So then what you're just going to want to do, if I can get everything out of the way, is you're just going to want to slip stitch into your first double crochet. This is what I do at least. Yarn over and then so you slip stitch into the first uh, double crochet and then chain one. This does not count as a stitch. You can chain two, you can chain one and for some reason it only focuses good 
when it's close up to the camera. So I'm not sure why it's going out of focus when it gets further from the camera. Because it's not even that far from the camera. But anyways, so now you're going to want to yarn over, work one double crochet in that same space that you did your slip stitch in your chain one because that's not counted as a stitch. You're going to work a double crochet in that space right there and then you're going to work another one. So you're going to work two double crochets into every single stitch. And then when you get to the end of each round, you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet and then chain one. So each double crochet gets two. So that you start out with 12, so you should be finishing round two. If you count that as your first round, you don't want to your first round, you should end on having 24 stitches because 12 times two is 24. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is our last stitch right here. Camera is not wanting to focus. My apologies, guys. Before it was like not wanting to focus when it was further away from the camera, and now it's not wanting to focus being close up to the camera. So right here is our last stitch. So you're gonna go ahead and work your last two double crochets. Okay, so you should have a total of 24 stitches, and if you want this hole to be smaller, it is going to open up some when you're working, um, just because it doesn't stay tight until you sew it and weave it in, but you can either sew it and weave it in now or do that later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is again, we're going to slip stitch to the first uh, stitch, first double crochet from the prior row, and so we're going to slip stitch into that. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to work our third in. We're going to work our third round. So we're just going to keep increasing. Because you want this hat to roughly be about half the size of the top of your head. That's the way that I measure. Depending on the stitches you use, you want it roughly to be about half the size of your head. So, let's move on to the third round. Okay, so we're going to move on to round three, or some people consider this to be round two. Some people don't consider the magic uh, ring circle to be the first round. But in this tutorial, we're going to. So after we slip stitch into the first double crochet and chain one, we are going to kind of follow a pattern. So now that we've done... Um, two double crochet into each, we're going to do two into every other. So we're going to work two in the first one. So we're going to work a double crochet right where you could see my finger poking out of. I don't know if you could see that. Let me get further from the camera so it'll focus. And we're going to put two there. Two double crochet stitches there. So I got my first one, and we're going to work one more in the same space. This is called an increase. Now I'm assuming you know how to do double crochets in this uh, tutorial. So now we have the two stitches. Boy, my camera is just all over the place and not focusing. My apologies, I promise I will try to get that fixed for the next video. So, that's what we're going to do. So we did two there, and then this next one, right here, is going to get one. Only one double crochet. So we're going to 
do a double crochet into this stitch just one so into the first one we did the one and then the two and then this one we're just doing one and then so that's how it's looking so far and then this one we have a double crochet or right here and so that's our next stitch and so we're going to do two into it And you'll start to see the pattern here in just a moment. Okay. So the first one, we did two double crochets. Second one, we did one. Third one, we did two. So if you can't already tell what the pattern is, this next double crochet is just going to get one. So the idea is that you increase the less and less as the hat gets bigger. That way it doesn't get too big. Okay, so we did our one. So you have two, one, two, one. So the next one. You have one there, and then we're going to do one more. Okay, so this next stitch is going to get one double crochet. And I just want to tell you that all remaining stitches at the end of each round are going to get one double crochet. And so the first uh, stitch is going to get two, second one's going to get one, third one's going to get two, this next one's going to get one, the next one's going to get two, and this one's going to get one. And you're just going to follow that pattern okay, so we all are the back, way around until you get to the end of your round. I and I just wanted to kind of show done. you kind of what you're working with on the third round and what it should be looking like. So, this is what it should be looking like. This is the last stitch right here. This hole right there. That's the last stitch. And so, when you start by working your first stitch with two, you should always end with one. So, we're just going to be working one double crochet. Oops, I'm putting it in the wrong spot one double crochet into the last and final stitch of this round and then all we're going to do is we're going to skip this chain here this chain's looking a little bit big and we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the first chain or into the top of the first stitch excuse me and then chain one and that is what we're going to do now we're just going to repeat this process is we're going to work two double crochet into the first stitch and every round that we increase starts by doing that. Okay, so my camera is not wanting to focus at all guys. Not really sure why. It like doesn't want to focus. Okay, now it's focusing. So we did the one. And now we're going to do the two. The next one. Okay, so we have two. So that the next one that we're going to do is going to be one. So the first stitch gets two. The second stitch gets one. Now here's where it's going to vary from the last round that we did. So instead of doing the repeat two one two one two one we're gonna do two one one two one one two and basically what that means is the first stitch gets two the second stitch gets one and the third stitch also gets one and we'll show you what that uh, looks like 
So you have two here, one, and then one. And then your next one gets two. And then I'll kind of show you. what this finished uh, pattern repeat looks like so you can get the gist of how to make the whole row or round excuse me so you have two one one two i don't know if you could see that clearly I'm trying to get my camera to focus gosh it's really not wanting to focus So what you're just going to do two, one, one, two, all the way around, ending with your final stitch being one. The last stitch you work should always be one. Okay, so one, because I got the two here, so one, one. And then two for this one. So you're just going to do that all the way around. And I'll mute you back. Once we get to the end of the round. Okay, so we're back, and this is kind of what we're working with and what we're looking at. So, because we did two regular double crochets in between each um, increase, that's how many um, regular double crochets you will have at the end. Meaning, mine is increase, double, double, increase, double, double. And so what that means is that means I'm going to have two stitches left over at the end that are just going to get one single double crochet in each. And so that's how it's going to work. And the amount at the end is going to increase by one stitch every around. And I forgot to mention that. So I do a double crochet there. And then the last stitch is also going to get a double crochet. So I don't know if you could see how that's working out, but, and actually I'm going to go back and do that other one again because it's looser than I like. So this one gets a double and then the last one gets a double. So for your third, for this round, wait, what round are we on? One, two, three, four. So for the fourth round, I guess, um, you're going to have a remainder of two stitches at the end and they're each going to just get one single double crochet because this one here has two and then the last two get one. And that's how it's going to be each round you're going to have. So the next round we're going to have three double crochets left over and each of those three will get one and then so on. And I'll explain that in the next row. So what we're going to, next round, excuse me, I keep saying row. So what we're going to do is, like we always do, we're going to slip stitch in to the first stitch, the first double crochet, chain one. And so you're just going to keep going until it reaches roughly about a half the size of the top of your head. So what I am going to do is put this, turn the camera around and kind of show you how I personally, how I measure hats for myself. So let's do it. Okay, so here's what we do. Oops, my stitch is coming undone, hold on. I need to pull some extra yarn out. So here is what I do. 
you take your circle, and this is how I do it. Everyone's got their own method. But I just figured I'd show you my method. So what I like to do is put it on my head here. And once this piece reaches roughly half the size of the top of my head, that's when I know I can stop increasing. And when I know that the flat part of the hat is big enough. So it's not quite there yet. So we're gonna go a little bit more. So I'll show you how to do your next round. Okay, so now that I've given you the tip on how to do that, that's just something that I've discovered over the years really works great for me. It might not work that great for you. Also, it does depend on the stitches you're using. If you're using longer, looser stitches, that definitely applies. If you're using smaller, tighter stitches, you might want it to be a slightly more than half the size of the top of your head. So tighter stitches will need a little bit bigger than half the size and looser stitches will need about roughly half the size or if they're really loose stitches a little bit less than half. So that's how I gauge that. So I've already slip stitched in the first stitch and chained one so that's what we did. So now what we're going to do as follows is we're going to do two double crochets under the first stitch and then the next one is going to get one the next three actually are going to get one so you did your double here single on the next one single double crochet in the next one and then the second the next one is going to get another just one. So you did two, two here, one, one, one. So you always start with two. So you got two, one, one, one. And then the next one, you guessed it, is going to get two. So however many double crochets you have in between each set of increases is going to be the remaining amount of stitches you'll have left over at the end of your round. Which is why I said at the end you'll have three leftover stitches. And you'll just put one in each three of those. So, so now that we've done, so this is what a pattern repeat looks like for this row. Two, one, 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 two. So we are going to do three more singles. So you got one double crochet in that one, one double crochet in this second one, and then one double crochet in the third one of this pattern repeat and then the fourth one of this pattern repeat is going to get a increase which is two stitches into one space so as you can see you have the two here and then one two three single double crochets and then another set of increases so basically you're just going to do that all the way around now if you didn't want to make a hat and you wanted to make a rug similar which is kind of a similar idea in the way that it's made like a little circular rug you would just keep doing this circle to be as big as you want so the next row is going to be the same as this, except it's going to be, it's going to be an uh, increase in the beginning, and then instead of three plain double crochets in each stitch, you'll do four. 
and then the row after that will be five, and then six, and then seven, and then eight, and then nine, and then ten. And so you're just adding one space between each increase every round that you do. And if you do this big enough, you could do a cute little rug or something. So I'm just going to finish this row, or round, excuse me, I keep saying row, I mean round, and then I'll meet you back at the end, show you how to finish, and then we'll measure it again and see if I feel that I can start making the walls of this hat. So I will meet you back when we're done. In the prior round, um, this is uh, what you'll have. You'll have three leftover stitches because you have your increase here at the beginning, your three stitches, and then your increase. So however many regular stitches that you have in between your increases, that is how many stitches you have left over. And so because I have three, there's three. Just like in the row below, we only had two left over. And then we only had one left over the row before. So it increases by one stitch every row. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to work one double crochet in the last three stitches. And if we do another round, then there'll be four remaining at the end. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find the first stitch so you have your chain here and then you have your stitch and you're going to stick it in and you're going to work one slip stitch in that one and then chain one. So I am just going to lay this flat and kind of give you a look of what our circle is looking like. So, so far our circle is looking really good and we like it. So what I'm going to have you do is pause the video here and we are going to put it on our head and look in a mirror and kind of determine if the circle is wide, is big enough right now. And if it's not, then we will continue and I will explain how you can continue if this hat needs to be bigger. So I will go measure and then we'll meet back and decide if we need to keep going or if we can officially now turn this into a hat. Okay, so I've measured mine and I've determined that I'm just going to, for the fun of it, make it a little bit bigger and go another row. So after you slip stitch into the first double crochet and chain one, we're going to work two double crochet in to that first stitch, just like we do with every round. Okay, and now we're going to work one double crochet into the next four stitches. So last round we did one double crochet into the next three. This time we're doing one double crochet into the next four. So we're working this stitch here. So that's one, two, three, So let me just show you what we're working with. So we have our increase here. And then we have one, two, three, four double crochets. And so as you probably could tell, the next one's an increase. So you're just increasing the amount of stitches each round that you do. And this yarn is splitting a lot. It's old. Not even really sure what kind of yarn it is. I mean, it's acrylic, but I'm not sure what brand. I think it might be Red Hat Super Saver, but I'm not sure. I just thought it was a light color and would go good on camera, and so that's why I picked it. Okay, so in the fifth stitch, we're doing our increase. So that's what you're going to do all the way around, and you only should have a remainder of four stitches on the end. So, we're just going to keep doing that. So 
So we've done, for this round, we've done two pattern repeats thus far. This is the first one. There's two with four regular double crochets in between and then another set of increases right there. And then one, two, three, four. And then you increase here. So you're just going to do that all the way around and you're going to end with a remainder of four leftover stitches. And then you're just going to do one double crochet in the last four stitches, a slip stitch to join at the top of your first double crochet and then chain one. And then when we're done with that, I am going to show you what to do next. Now, if your head is smaller and you didn't need to do this portion, then just wait and then I'll explain what to do next. So we have basically completed this round. I am just going to be working one double crochet into the last stitch of this round and then we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch like we normally do and chain one and then also like we normally do we are going to put our first stitch into this space here where the slip stitch and the chains coming out of and instead of doing doubles like we were before we are going to now switch to do half doubles now you don't have to if you don't want to but i am doing that because I just want it to be different. Now this yarn splits a lot, so I gotta redo that stitch again because it just splits a lot. So if you don't know how to do a half double, you yarn over, stick your hook in the stitch, pull up and leave your three loops on your hook, just like you would in a double crochet, yarn over, and instead of pulling through just two, you're just gonna pull through them all. So for this round, you're not gonna be doing any increases you're just going to be working one half double crochet or any stitch you choose really one of each into each stitch of the round and then when we're done we will or I will meet you back at the end and show you what to do for the next round. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see, there's one uh, leftover stitch we have to work. But before I do, I wanted you to notice how it's curling up. That's precisely what you want it to do. It's curling up in the wrong, like it's supposed to curl up on the other side, but it will um, fix itself once we keep going. Um, but this is what happens when you go from increasing to suddenly not. And this is precisely how we wanted it to go. So that's good. And I made my flat part a little bit bigger than I needed to, just to see how fun and cool it turns out. Um, so we're just going to do the last stitch. And we're just going to do a half double. And then we're going to just um, skip the chain and the slip. And we're going to work into the first stitch here and um, do a slip and then a chain of one. You're always going to want to chain one. Or you don't even necessarily have to do any chains. It's probably good if you do. And if you lay it, it won't lay totally flat, but it'll be mostly flat if you do that. And that's how big it is thus far. So then, what we're going to do is now that we've done that, we are going to work a different stitch, even yet, because I'm experimenting, and this is going to be fun. So we are going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. And if you know what that is, you're going to stick your hook into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have two, yarn over, and pull through all two of the loops. 
So we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch. Now ideally you can just stick with double crochets if you'd like and you don't ever have to switch stitches but I'm doing it to be a little more creative. Also be, bear in mind this is a smaller stitch and so it is going um, to tighten it up. So it's a good thing that I made the round part a little bit longer or a little bit bigger. So I am just going to do one single crochet in each stitch going all the way around and then I will meet you back when we get to the end of it so you can see how it's looking and how it's progressing. Okay, so we'll meet you back soon. Okay, so we're back and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work another round of single crochet. So I slipped to the first single crochet and I chained one already and then we're just going to work one single crochet into that first stitch again. So after we chain one, we're just going to work our one single crochet directly into that stitch and then we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So I am going to do that and then I'll meet you back when we're done and show you what's next. Okay, so I'm back and I've slipped this to the first stitch of the row and I have done my chain one. So what we're going to do from here on out, if you'd like, is um, we're going to do half double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And you can alternate your half doubles with your singles. You can do it however you'd like. So no increases. You're just going to be doing half double crochets all the way around the row or all the way around the round sorry I don't know why I keep saying row when I definitely keep meaning around also guys bear with me as I'm new to tutorial filming and all of that jazz so as you can see I'm just doing um, half double crochets. You could even do double. You could do single double or half double for this project. But I am just doing half double. And you can switch and alternate your stitches how you wish. It really does not matter. So we're just going to do this all the way around. And you're just going to keep repeating this row of half double crochet all the way around continuously until you get the desired length of your hat. So ideally your hat is going to um, cover just down to your ears ideally. So keep doing that and then I'll meet you back when my hat reaches the length I need it to be and we'll just show you how to finish it. Okay guys we are back and so last we talked, we talked about making the hat the length that you need. And I said that I would meet back with you guys and we would finish the hat. So the hat for me is really um, pretty much finished. All I have to do is um, slip stitch to join and then I'm done. And then I'm just going to show you how to weave in your ends and do all kinds of things like that. So what I'm actually going to do is instead of slip stitching, I'm going to work one single crochet to join instead. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join with a single crochet instead of a slip stitch. So I um, will, I'm grabbing my, sorry guys, let me move this out of the way. My um, yarning needle here, move it out of the way. And now what we're going to do, now that we just did a single crochet to join, instead of a slip stitch to join at the end. You can join um, any method that you like, but this is the method that I find works good for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it away from, look, okay, and then I am actually going to take this yarn Stick it through. And then the way that I'm going to be doing this, and the way that you'll see it, is we're going to take the yarn, stick it through the next available stitch, and pull it through like so. So you're going to have something that looks like this. And then you're going to take it and that single crochet that you made in place of the slip stitch, you can see there's the front loop here and then the back loop. And we're just going to stick it in the back loop only. So if this is confusing to you, I want you to pause the video. So then we're just going to pull it through the back loop. And then we're going to have you pull it a little tighter. Now it's not 100% perfect, but what it does is it ends up making another V very similar to all the other Vs so that it doesn't look as obvious that that's where you joined. And then what we're going to do to finish it is we're just going to weave it up and down the stitches. Now what I um, recommend people to do when they are doing this is I recommend that don't pull this all the way tight before you weave it in because it's going to pull it a little bit tighter when you do weave it in and just go in and out of like seriously any random stitches just make sure that you end up going in all directions and just make sure you don't pull it too um too tightly so just go up, down, and left and right in all different directions to be sure that you are getting a secure weave. Okay, so I think that that's good on my end. Okay, so we're just going to move all of our tools out of the way. And this is kind of what it looks like. I'm going to... Um, turn the camera over, put this on, show you guys what it looks like, and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, I am back, and I wanted to lower my camera a little more for this um, shot. That way you guys can see this project does not take a super long time to make. It is fun. I still do have to weave in this tail in the inside, so you're just going to do it the same way, except if you want a smaller hole on the top, you will want to weave that. So I will weave that in later, but for now, I just want to show you what the edge looks like. Let me um, get to that part. See this part here where we finished? You can just barely tell that that's the finishing edge. It's not 100% perfect, but it looks a lot better than some other finishing edges. So, and you can see the line that it does make going all the way down the hat. And that is the back of your hat. And you don't even have to have that if you don't want to. You can just not. You can just keep going around and around without joining if that's what you prefer. So I'm just going to put this little beanie on and show you how it looks. It's a perfect fit. And as you can see, I did a combination of doubles half doubles and singles and you can do that in any order and variation that you want 
So look how cute that this beanie is. You can go a couple rounds more if you want. But that's pretty much how this beanie works up. It's really simple. It's really cute. You can wear this on a summer evening or whenever you'd like. It's just fun. It's simple. If you are more advanced, you could do different stitch work. I just did basic stitch work for this um, tutorial for you guys. And it doesn't cover my ear totally, but you could um, allow it to go further down. And all in all, the shape is great. It turned out really cute. It's a simple pattern. It's a great little beanie. And it was really easy to make. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I want to give a shout out to my subscriber Wes for recommending that I make this hat. So I made it for you Wes and for everybody else. Um, don't forget to comment down below what kinds of videos you'd like to see in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, turn on post notifications. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.